1976 in the summer, I had this woman that swept me off my feet. I uh, met my wife. She was talking a lot about going to college. And I really didn't, I hadn't really given it much thought. I was busy working, kind of worked pretty much full time through high school. So when I went home that fall, I asked my mother, I said, you know, Mom, uh, you know, Mara's going to college, and I don't know, what do you think? I, I was thinking maybe I should go to college. You know, I had gone to an experimental high school, mostly for smart kids. My mother finagled a way to get me in. And uh, it was past fail. It was for kids that were progressive, that really needed to move ahead, and didn't want to stay with the, the current flow of students. Um, so I had a lot of passes in a past fail high school. So my mother said, why don't you go see the guidance counselor, see what she thinks. I went to see the guidance counselor, and she told me that she didn't think college would be a good idea for me. I should probably go to a trade school. So I went home and I told my mother. When I told her that when I had saw, saw Mrs. Saunders about the fact that she didn't think I should go to college, I, I can't use the language here, but she went crazy. So she said, get that, uh, that book, you know, the book we used to kind of look at to see all the schools. I mean, the only interest I had in that book when, when I went to look at the schools, you know, on the top they had the male-female ratio. So I was always, you know, trying to see the schools that had the most amount of girls. And my mother's like, no, 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 no. You're going to be an accountant, and I want you to find the best school in New York State. So um, I did, and uh, I got to Syracuse. Um, and my mother said, listen, um, I have zero contribution I have, we have no money. I said, Mom, that's a problem. We have no money. I'm past fail, and I've got 760 on my SAT scores combined. <laughs> now that's just between us. That's, that's kind of... So she said, well, you're going to have to make a sale. So when I went to Syracuse and I uh, went to the admissions office for that interview, I had told the lady there, a um, nice lady that I had an interview with, I had told her that this is the most beautiful place I'd ever seen in my life. So we went through the interview, and I said, at the end, I realized I was a little nervous. I wasn't sure what was going to happen. So at the end, I said to her, I said, listen, I want to tell you two things before I leave. If you figure out a way to help me get into this school, I promise you two things. I'll leave no stone unturned, and I will come back one day and make you proud. So, um, she said, you're a very interesting young man. I'm going to have to put some work into this thing. I'm going to get back to you. <laughs> sure enough, um, I was lucky enough to get into Syracuse. Um, I think that there is an art to keeping your promise. And I think, you know, one of the things I always promised my mother is that I'd make her proud. And I did promise that lady that I was going to come back one day and make her proud. And I definitely left no stone unturned here.